What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. So today as you've seen in the title we are going to be going over how to install a fridge in the Kenworth. So if you guys watched my last video, well not my last video, but my video of my first issues with my 2019 Kenworth T680 you'll know that my fridge went out it was one of the first issues that I've had well here it is a month six weeks later the warranty company finally came through and I picked up the new fridge this morning so that's what's in this box right here so we are going to be installing the fridge in its little spot so without further ado Let's open up the box and make sure it's the right fridge for one because we have the fridge or we had the fridge that had the door that opens and there's two styles of fridges that you can get. You can get the one with the swinging door that opens or the one with the drawer that pulls out to where you, you know, you just stack your food inside and we wanted the one with the door that swings open so that just so you don't have to dig through your you know all of your stuff every time you get into the fridge but anyways let's get this thing open and see if it's the right fridge Well boys, it's the right fridge, so that makes me happy. I can't wait to go get some groceries, stop eating fast food, and the junk that I've been eating for the last four to six weeks, however long it's been now that I've had, well, gone without a fridge, so I'm pretty damn excited. So, and it looks like they, redid them this is a different style of fridge completely my last one if you watch that video all the controls were over here on the side in the last fridge that i have and now all the controls and the light and everything are over here so i don't know if this is a newer updated model or if this is the older model i'm not sure um this is new and then the fridge or the little freezer portion looks like it can hold a little bit more and came with comes with a little ice cube tray which will probably never get used but at least they're thinking of us I guess and then we got a little book down here that tells us about the fridge and all the functions I would assume Oh, it looks like they have a few different models is the is the deal we got going on here so maybe I just had a different model but anyways yeah so moving on these are really really easy to install <clears throat> if you want to install it yourself I mean obviously if you have time for Kenworth to install it you might as well have them just throw it in for you I did not have time this morning and so I just told them, let's just throw it in the truck. But all it is is a little plug. So essentially you have the one plug there. And then back here in this dark hole. I don't even know if you guys can see it. But there's the other end of the plug. So let me show you guys how to 
throw this in real quick. Let's get her fired up, make sure she works. All right, so you're gonna need a few basic tools to install this fridge, nothing special by any means. I think all you really need is a screwdriver, maybe a flat head to pull the fascia off of this piece, or this cabinet down here. And then uh, I'm gonna use these little snips to snip this zip tie right here because if you don't cut this zip tie if I can do it with one hand because it's trying to push it backwards if you don't cut this zip tie pain in the butt to do it with one hand though it keeps trying to push the wires backwards then you won't be able to uh, reach the cord in the back of this cubby to plug this in once you get the fridge down there so you got to just cut that zip tie off. That way you can plug it in. And then from there, in my little trash can, all you have to do is this fascia piece pulls off. Of the cabinet here. And then you have to open the bottom drawer. If you open the bottom drawer, it can it'll slide around that bottom drawer, and you don't have to take the drawer all the way out. See, and then it just comes off. But once that's done, then you're ready to go. All you have to do is slide the fridge in, essentially. But uh, <clears throat> these fridges are nice because they have these little straps, so you can just lift right here. second so you grab the little straps they're really light fridges bring it down here grab your cords plug your fridge in and lift it up into the cubby And I just kind of pull the cord up to try to keep the cord out of the way of everything. And then it just slides in. Oh, we're caught right there. A little strap that you use to lift it with catching on everything. Guys over here for a second. This one fits a little bit tighter than the last one did. Oh, sorry about that guys. I was struggling. This one fits extremely tight top to bottom. So uh, what I had to do was grab a flathead and down here on the bottom, I just kind of, I had to pry the bottom up to get the bottom to come up and then she slid right into place. So, but anyways, so once you got it slid into place on either side, you have these little holes and yeah, you can't really see them, but there's two holes on this side and two holes on this side. And that's where these, uh, Sorry guys, I've been sick, so if I'm sniffling and crap, I apologize. But that's where these little silver screws go. So we'll put four of those in. Once those are in, we'll throw back on the fascia on the cabinet. And uh, yeah, she'll be good to go. But we should probably fire her up real fast. In the Kenworths, turn on this little light. In the Kenworths, your fridge button is right here and so you flip that little switch turns on the fridge boom there she is she turned on so 
I'm not sure which direction this guy needs to turn to to go but we'll get her cooling down so I won't use this it's Friday I'm just getting loaded for the weekend so I won't use the fridge until I'll go shopping Sunday before we leave but but that's about it so let me hurry and throw in these screws and then put the fascia back on and we'll be good to go.